Hello everybody, I'm GHG. Yes, you're seeing this right. This is not Eclipse, but Blender. This will be a new tutorial series aimed at showing you how to create assets inside of Blender. It will not be a full length one, just like the Minecraft bucket coding series, but just like a bridge towards using 3D assets and to show you how to create themselves. I'm not going to go over the basics of Blender. I'm just gonna teach you how I create my assets, simple things like trees and bushes, rocks, clouds, that kind of stuff. And all in a low poly style because I truly love that style and it is so useful and it's so easy to create if you get the gimmick right. You know the tricks, it's really easy to create anything in low poly. Uh, it will be more like placeholders uh, if I create them, but if you just find a good artist and then you can really get good low poly models but until then you can create your own placeholders or if you're a very talented at blender i'm not i'm not a pro artist so do not expect uh, me to create beautiful assets this is just to be showing you guys how to create uh, like trees etc to be able to use in other 3d programs so without further ado let's create the first simple asset a really simple tree and I will first delete my cube over here and create a new cylinder. And I'm going to set the vertices to 6 just because I like that. It gives you like a nice symmetrical, asymmetrical look. And just place it a little bit above so that it actually fits over here. And go into edit mode or just press tab to go into edit mode. And then scale it down a little until you get like the nice tree going to uh, base selection mode until you get that nice tree look and then just extrude this a little or not just make it a little longer and make sure your top is a little bit smaller than your bottom uh, than the bottom of your tree until you get the nice tree trunk looking uh, shape now go back into object mode and create a new icosphere placed on top just scale it up just until you think hey this looks like a really low poly tree but I do not like this if you use this uh, all the time it gets repetitive it's always the same so I uh, do a little modifier over here on the range uh, its modifiers add a modifier a displace modifier and then inside the texture so the, the checkers uh, kind of thing create a new texture of type noise over here and as you can see it will get all scrambled up because the strength is way too high for my to my liking just move the strength a little down to about 0.3 and you'll see 0.4 0.3 you see that the thing is uh, getting a bit better but I think this is still too many triangles so too <laughs> high poly so I'm gonna add a decimate to it and I like values around 0.75 0.8 just like this yeah I like this and then just apply uh, the things and you'll see it will get changed a little and then what I like to do is scale it up along the Z axis so that it gets that nice uh, tree looking uh, feel to it and this is way too pointy so I'm gonna go into edit mode vertices selection and I'm gonna move these inwards a little so that I do not get a pointy tree just like that and that's really easy how to create your tree it does not look right now it has no color it has no thing okay the series is not aimed at creating a nice blender uh, scenery or something like that but I do want to add color over here inside of the the, 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 the scene so I'm going to do that by just going to this uh, sphere, adding new, and this is going to be the leaves material, and just make it a nice green color. I will adjust the colors in a second. And this one, create a new one, create a nice create trunk, and then just a nice brownish color. And if you press zero on your numpad, uh, you will go into camera view, so you'll go into that camera view and as you can see the tree is not completely in the camera view so I'm gonna adjust the camera view 
uh, I want to rotate it. So I'm going to go over here, transformation manipulations, manipulators rotate. And as you can see, there's no real bar to make it face a little bit more upwards. And to do that, you change global into local and then just adjust it with the red one and go check. Yeah, it looks right now. Only the tree is a little bit too close. Select both by holding shift and right clicking them. And let me take a look at if the tree is now inside the view. Yeah, it's kind of inside the view. And if I go into rendered, it's, it's a little dark. So I'm going to go into world over here. And I'm going to tick ambient occlusion. And this is too much, but I will fix that. Oh, wait, a little plane on the ground should make it look nicer. So just do all zeros underneath the cube. That's like the, uh, these are the X, Y, and Z values of the location. Just scale it up a huge amount so that it actually fits within here. Go back into rendered mode and you'll see it's the sky is black. Change the horizon color towards a little lighter blue. Uh, still a little too dark for my taste. Like that. And that's it. That's how you create trees. Oh wait. Let me just change the type of the... You can uh, combine models. If you select them both by holding shift. And do Control J. You'll make one uh, model out of it. But you can still uh, separately adjust the... The, the, the materials which I'm gonna do because I think this one is a little too dark just like that uh, is more to my liking and that's it for the first tutorial uh, episode of this new series I hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like let me know down below in the comments if you want to see more of this because I'm gonna record six episodes uh, before I ask you if I should go on with this series or not because within these six episodes we created a couple of assets that can be useful in uh, maybe another series with 3D model, uh, which needs 3D models. I don't know yet. If you like this, let me know either on the Discord, which you can find a link to in the description box, or uh, post the comments. And of course, like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.